Happy Monday, lovely people, and welcome to Coloring Countdown to Christmas. I hope you had a great weekend and maybe had some time to color or paint or draw or do something pre-Christmassy that is not too stressful there. Today I'm coloring this particular page here, which to me is a photo frame with a girl that uh, well, got her photo taken by, while she was having a snowball fight. I did use um, the Inktens blocks for the frame and a tiny bit of the background here. So everything that looks kind of watercolory is actually Inktens. And I used that because I could well, work with a bit less water than the watercolors and, um, well, it's a bit more controllable and I like to have that with uh, some of the coloring books. For the focal points, so those leaves, and I still, oh man, I forgot the name of those uh, plants here. I have to look it up in a minute. Um, I'm, and for the girl, I'm using the polychromos. And um, I do that because, like I said last week, um, the the way I color with polychromos, it makes it very dense and very, very um, vibrant and automatically pulls the thing that I color uh, to the foreground if I have something done in a different medium. So uh, I like to use the... Uh, polychromos for the focal point. Hollies, that's what they are called. I just looked it up while I was um, talking to you here and the internet says hollies. So those uh, holly berries, I, um, yeah, I really like them for Christmas season. They're actually, they do not necessarily say Christmas to me. They say end of year season, so I do associate them with anything that is from mid-October to, um, well, end of December pretty much, and uh, I like them a lot. I like them as a, as a decoration in my house around Christmas time or end of year time. So I really w was very happy when I flipped through the book of all these um, ancient, well not ancient, but vintage, uh, Christmas greeting cards here. I really liked how many of them had those hollies or those plants and the berries of course, the holly berries. Uh, I really liked that because well it's a nice plant to color. I do like the leaves a lot and you can give it more of a yellowish tint like I did in this uh, coloring here or you can give it more of, an, of a sage olivey kind of a style that I'm gonna do tomorrow. So I really like just where you can go with it. Also, uh, I like that um, they, uh, in this particular page here, they are the warm colored thing. They really pop against this grayish um, frame, like the picture frame, which could be either glass or metal or there's some trees um, that are grayish green, uh, not greenish, whitish grayish. Uh, it's like a birch tree or something. Um, I'm, I'm actually not exactly sure, but they are not the warm brown color when you have a frame made out of those naturally, but they have this kind of like a metal look to them. And I really like uh, the contrast of the red and green against this uh, bluish gray. For the girl, uh, I did use more of a blue coat. I didn't go with the traditional Christmas colors there for her, but um, I did color her very vibrant with blue and red, and she has a very lovely honey colored hair. So, uh, and also she has a very lovely eye color, which is pretty much the same as uh, the hair color but a, with a bit of green in there so I made her pop like that but still I wanted those holly berries to even sit in front of that because the frame is pretty much decorated with natural holly berry parts of the bushes there. So there is my page 
for today. I hope you enjoyed watching along. Again, tomorrow I'm having the holly berries again somehow in the painting, but I'm gonna color them totally different, so check out what I do there. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below, and you can see the material list on this week's blog post, which comes out on Friday. Enjoy, have fun, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.